Spring is just around the corner and temperatures in the border city and surrounding area seem to be warming up. But that also means melting snow and the possibility of roofs leaking. As Victor Kaiser reports, if this problem isn't fixed soon, it could lead to major problems for homeowners. You got to do everything you can to try to make your home healthy and safe. One of the major causes of leaky roofs is ice damming, that is the formation of ice on the roof eaves. You might not even see ice, you probably just see a thick buildup of snow. And what that does is it's creating a dam that's holding back water that's melting down the roof. The remaining snow on the roof the next warm day ends up running down and gets caught behind the ice, builds up, it actually runs, it gets thick enough that it actually runs under the shingles. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but there's actually water here. Okay, so there's a fair amount of heat escaping here and causing ice to form on the roof. It's a problem that's mostly prevalent in older homes, but it's one that can be rectified if proper steps are taken. One of the best things for ice damming is to shovel the roof off. Now that's a dangerous pro proposition, so you have to be careful, you have to do it right. Uh, if nothing else, shovel the, the, the last three feet of the roof, the, the eave. And if not rectified, it could lead to several thousand dollars worth of repairs. Any kind of heat source entering the attic has to be eliminated, or as, eliminated as much as you possibly can, because heat in the attic, not a good plan. You want to have the attics the same temperatures outside. As temperatures warm up, if you're unsure whether your home is at risk, it's best to contact a professional before it's too late. Victor Kaiser, Newcap News. From divers to special dairy foods and everything in between, it was all about the little ones at the Lloyd X grounds today. It was the last day of the fourth annual Bellies and Babies extravaganza, and as Anna Kanafe reports, hundreds of parents came out to take part. Max. This little baby in a box is the center of attention. But he's not the only one. It was a day focused on all babies. And for this soon-to-be mom, she's looking forward to being a mother. It kind of makes it hard because you want to buy all these things and you just can't yet. So it makes it exciting. to 12 months, but are known to fit beyond that. And organizers say the event is always well-received here in the city. There's a lot of young families. There's over a thousand babies born a year and there's people moving in all the time, new families uh, that have come from other places. So it's a good way to connect. I really like supporting home businesses. Like this wrap was woven by a lady in Lloyd. So it gives you an opportunity to find out what's around your town and what you don't have to go to Edmonton to get. And Beth says she can't imagine being a mother without the helpful back carrier. It's so much more convenient. <laughs> I have my hands. And currently I only have one kid with me, but when I have all three with me, like I don't understand how people parent without one attached. Like how do you chase two kids with a third and And as the superstars of the day, what does the baby say? Are you having fun? <laughs> uh. And for Desiree, when it comes to stepping into the motherhood role, She's taking all the advice she can get from her mom. It's one of those people that you always look up to and you know you always think that the cow they how did they do it? Especially becoming a mom, you're like, I don't know how she ever did it, or just the things it's like, Mom, what about this? And she's like, Oh, it's fine, it's fine, and you just are overtaken by it and they Organizers say each year the Bellies and Babies extravaganza is well attended and they will hold the fifth annual again next year with a brand new theme. Anna Kanafate, New Cap News. From toys to magazines and old books and warm, the collector's show and sale has been a part of the Border City for 22 years. And this time something new was introduced with an exhibitor with a one-track mind. This is the first time the train has been showcased in Lloyd Minster and it seems to have gone off the rails in popularity. You want to know how, how it works, how was it built, what, what is it doing, you know. Leslie says he loves all things wooden and this elaborate project took him 10 years to make. It's the complete replica of a full-sized locomotive RA42. Even the gravel in between the rails has been scaled. And it's been screened to a 1 to 10, 10 size from a 1 and a half inch stone. Now the public has one last chance to check out this exhibit and more at the Lloyd X grounds. Doors open at 10 a.m.